Welcome to day 14, playing your edges. Your edge in yoga is right where you start to feel the stretch happening in your body. And in yoga, you want to be more aware, not about how flexible you are, how deeply you can go into a pose, but how sensitively you can play on the edge of the sensation and bring your body there. So we'll be exploring postures we've done previously from day 10 and on, before that, for day 10, and seeing them in new and different ways. Let's start with our check-in. Inhaling and exhaling through your mouth, bringing to mind that idea of yogi as scientific observer, one who receives information from the senses without expectation or plan. Observe your mind. Your feelings, your emotional state. Isn't that interesting? That's what you can say to yourself internally after every observation. It lets go of all judgment. Feel your body. Your muscles, your bones, see your skeleton sitting here stacked, aligned. What more can you let go of? Maybe it's your shoulders, your elbows, your jaw, your eyes, your tongue. And now focus on your breath. First, without control. And then three deep breaths. Your last breath at the top of the inhalation, hold your breath in for as long as it feels comfortable for you without straining. When you need to exhale, slowly exhale. At the bottom of your exhalation, hold the breath out. When you need to breathe, inhale. Exhale, and then inhale to the sound of Om. Oh. Softly opening your eyes, we'll bring the soles of our feet together. So this is a take on butterfly pose. Your hands will come under your ankles and start. It's like a combination of both. Sit tall and you'll inhale, lift your right ankle, your right foot up off the ground, exhale it down, and then left leg. Inhale it up, exhale it down to stretch into your hips, into your glutes a few times, back and forth. Right foot up, inhale, exhale it down, left foot up, inhale, Exhale it down. One more time. Left leg. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Come onto our backs. For a little bit of core work, similar to double leg lowers, but this time it's single leg lowers. You'll inhale your arms up. Drop your shoulders down. Exhale your right leg towards the ground as you curl up, reaching out past your left thigh, and then hold, spreading your toes. Remember your drishti, soft eyes. Keep lifting, shoulder blades up off the ground. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left leg down. Scissor legs. Your leg floats. Your low back is still pressing into the ground. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, both legs up. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Side to side, rock, massage your back. And then inhale, legs up again. This time, hands behind your head. Exhale, crunch up, spread your toes. Keep your right hand behind your head. 
So you lower your left leg down, and then left hand, reach it out past your right thigh and hold. Shoulders here again, up off the ground, inner thighs squeezing in, face relaxed. Lift up a little bit higher, and then inhale, left leg up, hands behind your head, back to center. Exhale, turn and twist as you lower your right leg, and then right hand, reach it out past your left thigh. Still your toes are spread. Shoulders up, squeeze. Inhale, back up to center with your legs. Exhale, release, head down, rock, circle your knees, then hands behind your thighs, knees into your chest. Rock a couple times along your spine, all the way into a squat next time. That you come up, get your feet wide, hips low, palms together. Press your knees back with your elbows, interlace your fingers, with an inhalation, come up. Either side, doesn't matter which, stretch over. Pressing out through your palms. Inhale up, exhale, other side. Inhale up, exhale, dive down. Heel toe your feet under your hips. Get long as you inhale, exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, look up, exhale, hop or step to a plank. Lower, up dog or cobra, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Right leg, inhale it up, bend your right knee, look under your right arm, stay here or go all the way over to the left with your right foot, coming to the outside edge of your right foot. Inhale, reach up and back, and then making a fist, exhale, elbow towards your belly as you lower your hips towards the ground. Then one more time, reach up and back again. And then exhale, pulse down. Inhale up. Exhale, back around. Three-legged downward dog, right leg up in the air. Exhale, right knee to the outside of your right arm in this core plank. And then inhale up. Exhale, right knee to the outside of your left arm towards your left elbow. Inhale up, exhale, right foot up between your hands. Left toes stay tucked. Inhale up, eagle arms. You'll wrap your right elbow over your left arm. Inhale up, arch up and back, reaching back. Inhale up, exhale, bring it in. Elbows to your belly, and then inhale. Up and back, exhale, release your hands down, straighten your front leg, hop your left foot forward. We've done the intense leg stretch before. This time we'll try with namaste hands. So you bring your fingertips together, turn your fingertips up, and try to press your palms between your shoulders, elbows back. If this doesn't quite work for you, you can just hold your forearms or your elbows behind your back. So your feet, about two feet apart, two and a half, three feet apart. Either namaste hands or hold your forearms or elbows. Shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold over your front thigh. Keep your palms back here, your hands back behind you. Bend your right knee, bring your weight into your right foot and lift up, straighten your leg. Stay here or fold further. How close can you get down towards your right leg? Play, remember, play with your edges. How sensitively can you move your body to the edge? Remember, falling over is totally fine. This means you explored and challenged yourself. Bend your right knee, bring your left foot around behind your right leg. Sciatic stretch if you can. Keep your hands here. Inhale, get long. Exhale, fold. And then interlace your fingers, lift your hands high, forehead towards your knee. Release your hands down to your sacrum, slide your hands down your legs. Inhale, look up, step your left foot back, step your right foot back. 
And from plank, just drop your hips, keep your toes tucked under like a floating upward dog. Exhale, downward dog, hips up and back. We'll do that one more time. Roll forward into a plank. Let your hips dip, keep your toes tucked. Straight arms, shoulders over your wrists. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale it up. Bend your left knee. Stay here. This is a perfectly good place for some of you guys to stay. Or flip over. Right, left foot over to the right. Left hand reaches up and back. And then making your fist. Elbow towards your belly as your hips lower. Inhale, reach up. Lift the hips. Exhale, hips low, belly to thigh. One more. Inhale, lift. Reach. And then flip it back around. Left hand down, right hand down. Bending your left knee, core plank, but left knee towards your left elbow, upper arm. Then inhale up and back. Crossing your body, left knee to the outside of your right arm, right elbow. Inhale up and back. Exhale, step it through. High lunge. Arms up, inhale. Left arm up over your right arm, eagle arms, palms together. Strong, steady legs. Inhale, reach up and back, arch. Exhale, belly. Folding down, elbows to your belly. Inhale, come up. Exhale, unwind, release. Hands float down. Back leg, hop it up. Do straighten your front leg, square your hips. Hold opposite elbows. Or namaste hands, if you're holding your elbows, Get the other forearm on top, so swap your grip around. Inhale, look up, arching. Exhale, folding, hinge. Elbows back, shoulder blades back. Forehead down. Bend your left knee, bring your weight into your left foot. Come to your right tiptoes, launch forward slowly, straighten your left leg. Maybe stay here. Just your leg about parallel to the ground or try folding, like standing splits. Don't be afraid to fall. It's perfectly fine. No one is judging you, not even yourself, hopefully. And then right foot down around behind your left. Get your feet in line. Let your fingers interlace. Non-habitual hold, swap your fingers. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, drop down. Release, hands to your sacrum. Slide down your legs. Inhale, get long in your spine, step your feet back. Right leg, left leg plank. Roll to your tiptoes, lower. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Arms out in front, variation of locust pose. We're strengthening our back muscles. Chin down, right arm and left leg lifts and hovers, and then left arm, right leg lifts, a swimming motion back and forth. Pretty fast. Opposite arm and leg, a little bit faster. And then exhale, release, slide your hands back. Press up and back to your knees. Let's go wide knees in our child's pose. Forehead rests on your hands. Slowly then press up. All the way up so that you're sitting on your feet. Then bring your knees together. Cross your ankles. Roll forward onto your tailbone, back into boat, half boat. This time, we'll all stay in half boat together. We'll spread our toes, then inhale, open up, exhale, bring it back in. Two, three, four, five, we're going to 10, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Lower down, slowly, heels down, torso down, reach up with your arms. Shake out your ankles and your wrists. Hands down by your side. Bring your feet to standing, then straighten again your left leg, right knee guided over to the left for a spinal twist. Get your hips stacked so your left hip will come a little bit over to the right. Right arm reaches long. Shoulder blade towards the ground, ear towards the ground. And then release. Slide your right hand down, roll onto your back. Extend your right leg along the ground, left foot to your inner right thigh as you guide your left knee over to the right. Then right hip, hop it to the left. Look to the left. Shoulders as much towards the ground as you can get them. A little bit of pressure on your knee with your hand. And then release your arm, left foot down, square your hips, extend your legs out, open your arms out to the side. Shavasana. Breathe in through your nose, sigh it out through your mouth. As you sigh, you relax completely. Do that again if you need to. Resting here with that scientific observer consciousness, witnessing, listening, sensing, feeling with interest. Staying here today as long as you would like. 